Welcome back to my Hearts of Iron 3 Yugoslavian playthrough. Um, you know, Greece just fell last ep- or, you know, declared war on me last episode, um, out of nowhere. Like and... the Japanese Empire on the U.S. Army in Pearl Harbor. Greece is just doing yes. it without any form of, you know, air power. Yeah, yeah, we could call this Land Harbor. Does that sound good? Land Harbor? Can we agree on that? We will roll with that for the time being. Now, right. we and see I'll... here the reason why you weren't able to attack Prague, and this is because your operational level doctrine was still stuck in World War II, where they did one offensive per month. Yeah, you mean World War One? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you see, I've been like focusing on research that's a little more important, like um, infantry and like anti-tank and artillery, stuff like that. Um, I like to keep up on that kind of stuff more than uh, land doctrine. Land doctrine is very important for me. I always queue my orders. But like, um, let's say, like whenever you know 1938 comes around or 1937 comes around, I instantly put all my research onto infantry. You know, and Yugoslavia doesn't exactly have that much available, you know, um, education. You know. Well, I, I I would like to dispute that point, but the evidence is, um, you know. To the contrary. By education, I mean uh, leadership. You know, the education research. But yeah, um, yeah, I know what you mean. I, I probably should have operational level command and all, but I've just been preoccupied with trying to get my infantry up there, you know? Mm, I mean, it is important because as soon as you'll be dealing with the Soviet Union... Yeah, I don't want to be outdated against bigger countries. You know? You know, I mean, that's like the best thing to research. You don't want to fall behind is like the most important thing. Well, yeah, you're, you're not gonna attack a lot against the Soviet Union, but you sure want to be able to hold your ground. Yeah, you know, I want my men to be good. I want them to have good arms. And, you know, it's a lot more important that that happens because, you know, as you said, I'm not going to be attacking the Soviet Union. They're going to be attacking me. Uh, I have a question for you. Would you focus more on defensive weaponry or more of offensive weaponry if you only had, you know, one choice? Um, I, I'd say offensive. Um, you know, it'd probably come back to bite me in the end against, like, the Soviet Union, but hopefully I'd be able to rely more on Germany. Um, I'd want to stay on the offensive so I could blow through, you know, Turkey, you know, all the Balkans, right? I want to blow through the Balkans. I want to blow through... Romania, you know, Africa, you know, against the Allies, and you know, yeah, I'd rather stay on the offensive. Well, do you think you'll have the supply, the supply lines, and the manpower to sustain such a big uh, enterprise? You know, oh, yeah, that's that's a thing. Like, um, you know, into, into the theory research tab, I I was thinking of putting a little bit into like the supplies there, like in the bottom left of that research tab, they have like um supply throughput and all. I probably put a lot of research into that, um, you know, to counter that, but I can't tell you with 100% certainty that that wouldn't be an issue. Well, the thing is, I've been just playing in the, now for a shameless plug of my AAR, I've been playing with Turkey. Yes, you should all check out. Uh, I've been playing as Turkey and Africa is just bullshit when it comes to supplies. I mean, seriously, yeah. I wish I could order my ships to supply me because I'm losing. And you know, nobody else will... Yeah, I know what you're saying, but I know nobody else will get it, but our first game together, there was a similar issue in Africa. Yeah, you, you destroyed me, because I was Italy and you were the United States of America. Oh, uh, and we were fighting each other like 1937. Yes. <laughs> well, um, I see you've retaken uh, Albania, you're just moving into Tirana, into Skopje. Yep, I'm still, uh, you know, I mean, they're on the, they're, you know, on the run. Right? I mean, there's no way I, 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 I can lose this at this point, you know? I mean, I would argue that there was no way I was ever going to lose this. But, you know, it's just a matter of um, how long this would have taken. And as you can see, I still haven't taken back all my territories, so mm -hmm. it's going to be a while. But, yeah, the, still to come. The, the Greek army is struggling. And although yeah. you only have 14 manpower, which may become an issue very soon. Yeah, you're right. Um, you're, you're getting better because um, I think you have one or two disputed territories with either Greece or Bulgaria. And they give you an additional yep. 10 base manpower. So. Yep, 
definitely do. Um, and as you can see, as I as I said, um, you know, from Tyrain, I, I'm sorry, I'm not pronouncing that right, but um, as I said in a previous episode, I was going to like skim the coast, like all the way to their capital. As you can see, I'm doing again. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm going down their coastlines trying to reach their capital to make them surrender sooner. And, you know, um, I wasn't really thinking about Crete at this point, but I don't think that becomes an issue. I think I end up getting pulling off a successful naval invasion of that, which, you know, is rare, because as we said before, um, when you compare it to, like, uh, you know, like the English Navy that's around that area, I don't have any kind of Navy that can compare. It should have been wiped, but it didn't get wiped. Yeah. And I think a, a major advantage that you have over Greece to a regular Yugoslav player than me is you have them on the defensive and without organization pretty early on because you see that fort in Ioannis and Genitza. Yeah. Those are a bitch to push through with an exhausted army. But yeah. you have surrounded. You know, I've kept my army together pretty well. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I mean, you see, there's a few units with low organization, but then you get these like divisions like you know shown on screen right here with full organization at the back. The, the thing is, the Greeks are far on the defensive. They don't have any fighting spirit left, apparently. Oh, there's no way they could win at this point, or even hold, for that matter. Yeah. Even if, you know, England dropped 20 divisions onto Greece, you know, I mean, I think I have such an offensive rolling with high organization that they wouldn't be able to, you know, do that much at this point. Well, you'd, you'd be surprised how much of a branch a single marine division can be to a miner. Yep, uh, another shameless plug right here. You told me about your turkey AAR and a problem with that. Well, I, I mean, I, the one moment I left the harbors unattended, the British <laughs> AAR <laughs> shamelessly exploited. You never do that. Well, I, <laughs> never I, do that. I thought 2,000 kilometers away, you know. The transport ships aren't that well equipped. Man, the US and the UK do that stuff. You can never expect them not to. Yeah, I, I didn't think they'd have the supplies in Gibraltar to pull it off, but then they did, and I've lost half of my, uh, let's say, mainland Turkey, but. <laughs> mainland Turkey? <laughs> that, that must be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Oh, France just fell. Uh, yeah. Um, oh. See all those Italians in there? They really did a number on them. Yeah. Pushed all the way into Vicky. Again, Italy did a lot more because they weren't weakened by their failures in Greece and Albania. Like they were. Yeah, killed. which I ended up taking the mantle. <laughs> well, Italy is not doing much to help you, but. Yeah. You know, Germany helped me quite a bit, but you know, I wouldn't say it was significant. You know. Uh no, I mean they did a first push kind of thing, but definitely nothing right now. This is all Yugoslavian power there. Yeah. As you can see, Salonika, I just took it, you know, they're pretty much collapsing on all fronts, and, um, you know, something annoying is going to come of this territory up here, um, you know, below Bulgaria next to Turkey. Um, as I'm sure, you know, people read the title, um, Greece is going to survive there. I didn't add all the war goals that I should have. I totally messed it up. I, I feel awful. Well, you, it, did you puppet them, or are they still allies? They're still allies, so I'll have another go at it soon when the UK calls them back in, but, uh -huh. you, you know, my mistake. How much of the army actually survives? Uh, not many, like three or four divisions up there, I think. Or, you know, maybe zero, actually, because I think, like, they might have, like, an HQ in, like, two. Mm -hmm. But, um, I think I end up, um, like, killing off the entire northern area before they surrender. Mm -hmm. Well, any kind of army, even if it's only HQs, can take territory, and if left unattended, they can cause havoc. Yeah. Wait, I can promise you, I will not leave Greece unattended because, um, you see, I have to blow through Bulgaria next, mm. and I think Greece will be at war with me before I finish up with Bulgaria. So, you know, I'm going to have men there. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Well, I don't have concrete data in front of me, but do you have any idea how many soldiers you have right now? Um, wow, it's it's been a while since I, um, since I was last playing this. Um, yeah, like, I... I 
you know, my mistake. Um, this is all pre-recorded. You know, I mean, next episode though, we're going to we're going to start playing this um, save together, and it's going to be all real commentary in the moment. So, you know, that that that'll be way better. But um, yeah, you know, it's been a while since I played the save. I think it might be nearing 200 grand, maybe a little more. Yeah, I can't be sure. Oh, um, you don't have to worry about Creed, it seems, because Italy took over, if I'm so correct. I, I end up having to deal with Creed anyways. <laughs> they, they, they don't do that good. That, that's something the Italians are not good at, Greece. Uh, just like real life. Just like real life. You see, now, now I'm starting to put men on Poland. I'm hoping that I can grab some of Poland. Mm -hmm. before war starts between Germany and Poland. Because you see, it's um, December 1938, right? You know, 1939 war. is right around the corner, you know? Essentially, um, yeah. Um, you know, what I'm hoping for is uh, take Poland on early, you know, take um, all of it would be nice, but it might be, I, I might not do that since it would be like cheating the system. I might just take like uh, Eastern Poland or something. Well, I, th I think you can help yourself to a bit in the south. I don't know yeah. how much there is in terms of industry there. I've never played as Poland before. But... Right. I, I played as Poland once. It wasn't fun. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I would have dared you to do an Allies Yugoslavia playthrough, but, you know, you, you can't hold that. That would be suicide. That's not possible. Unless, like ask me to shoot myself in the head. It, it, it's it's like doing a Italian allied playthrough. You just suffer. Or like a lot of people seem to assume from you, um, they wanted you to join the Axis as Turkey. Yeah. Your AAR. And I laughed at that when I heard you say that. And I read the comment on your uh, on your AAR's comments page, and I I laughed for a solid ten minutes. Somebody actually wanted you to join the Axis as Turkey. <laughs> well, the thing is, um, most people playing Hearts of Fire and have this bit of, you know, have to conquer the world mentality. And if you're Axis, you can just declare you can war back. Of yeah, but it's also um, Turkey joining Axis is also the stupidest thing I've, also, I've ever heard. Also, so, oh, as you see, they're winning in Africa. Yeah. yeah. And Italy, I think. Greece just surrendered. Mm -hmm. And there I am, um, angry at myself. <laughs> okay, but they're they're left with one fortress and nothing else. Yeah, L legitimately no war goals. Like they don't have victory points. Probably just do conquer. Yeah. I, I guess they they don't have victory points. You know, they might have one. I think Sarius is one actually. I honestly but don't yeah. remember. It's been so long. Yeah. Well, you know, um, we're we're coming up on our end here. Um, you know, you know, I'm 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 gonna keep having meet you on. You know, you might you might become a permanent part of this. You know, that we'll see. Um, but yeah, you know, next episode will be uh, live. Won't be pre-recorded anymore. We won't be voicing over it. It'll be real. Keep it um, real. Yeah, keep it real. <laughs> nice. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Yeah.